So tonight, in the main event, Hells yeah! Stand, Hells yeah! Going for the title. Hells yeah! But uh, what happens if you win the title? If I win the title, Staples? Yeah. No, no, no. It's when I win the title. title. I'm going out tonight, and I'm finding a bunch of people. Hall of Fame. There's two sections of the Hall of Fame. There's the Dirty Dealer, the, the Blackest person, it's hot, and then there's the rest of the people who I can't even remember all the names. Yeah, okay? Cares, but I'm a champion. I'm Hall of Famer. I'm team champion. I've managed people. I've run this place. Yeah. I've done it up. I go out there, I win tonight, it's good enough. Title is yours. Yeah. Okay? I win, you win. And the good thing is, we go to Doomsday. FO is going to be taking this rematch to Doomsday because FO is 0 for a million at Doomsday. Yeah, he may be Mr. Legacy, but he is Mr. Anti Doomsday. That's you know? correct, that's but correct. You know, you know what? Who else isn't taking that rematch at Doomsday? <laughs> the Gift Hog. Oh, Christian Sane. Oh, Christian oh, Sane, yeah. man. <laughs> He's hurting, huh? Yeah, just a little. I heard Jay from the website, you know, our website, www.wrestling.com. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. That uh, we broke. His ankle? We broke his ankle? Yeah, yeah. Man, memories. <laughs> you know, I'm fighting Jersey tonight. He's yeah. one of the Hall of Famers. Okay. I remember the first match at WAW. Really? I took Jersey. I was dominating the whole match. Yeah, I let course. him get some shots in. Because, you know. Yeah. But then I grabbed his ankle and I was twisting it. He tapped out. Man, I'm dirty deal. First WAW champion. <laughs> Greatest WAW champion. It's, it's great. And since then, man, I heard some guy stole some that guy, move. His name Kirk. Kirk, Kirk, he's bald and he's, bald? he wears I, sneakers. I don't know. I and he has crappy looking legs. Crappy. I don't know. Whatever. I don't, I don't know. Let's get on with it. The following contest will be decided in the singles match rules. And it's going to go for a one fall with a 15 minute time limit. 15 Entry first, Kelly from Cambridge, New Jersey. It's J.T. Lambo! Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. As we reported earlier tonight, Christian Sane suffered a broken ankle and will be out of action anywhere from four weeks to eight weeks. We have no idea when Christian Sane's going to be back. He was injured at the hands of Joey Staples and Dirty Dealer last week. You saw them gloating over what they did to Sane last week. Can't say Sane didn't deserve it, but it's a... Uh, Bad turn of events for Christian Saint. Haley from West Point, New York. He is one half the team champion, Full Hill Jacket. The system of rage, Major Morgan Friday. And now we await the arrival of one half of the WNW team champions, Major Morpheus Morenzi, who is under orders, or I'd say more of a request from Captain Vincent Torello to be sportsmanlike here tonight against JT Lambeau. Uh, CBZ is actually the man who left the letter for Katie Doobie last week and said that he's going to leave her another here tonight. Captain of all people going after Katie Doobie. You're going to wonder what his methods are, though, is she is one half of the challenging team to FMJ's team titles at Doomsday. I don't know, something doesn't sound right here, but you never know. Hey, it'd be nice if FMJ had a change of heart, started being more sportsmanlike. You know, these guys are some downing, dirty, well, scumbags, really. And it'd be nice to see FMJ get on a, a nice a nice track. However, that remains to be seen. Sergeant Charles Hatchett took care of business earlier tonight against Smokey and even offered up a handshake after it was over. And Morenci extending his hand, and we have a handshake to start this thing off here between Morenci and Lamba. We got a collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Morenci working Lambo back to the corner. Not to take anything away from this match, but our main event is coming up next. The six-man tag-in challenge involving all six Hall of Famers for FO's WAW Championship will be coming up next here on Aftermath. Do not go anywhere. We get another collar and elbow tie-up. This time, Lambo brings Morenci back into the corner. And Lambo comes in to try and intimidate Morenci there. I guess that's a good game plan. You can't really afford to show Morenci any fear because he will take pure advantage of it the second he knows he has the advantage. Morenci with a power advantage there, shoving out of the collar and elbow lockup. Morenci giving Lambo a headlock. 
Lambeau has it locked on tight. Morency has Lambeau. Back suplex drops him down on the back of his head. Morency now picking up Lambeau. Backs him into the rope. Sends him off with an Irish whip, but it's reversed by Lambeau. Morency ducks a clothesline. Coming off the opposite side, and he gets drop kicked. Lambeau hit him right in the shoulder. Lambo now going after Morenzi, stomped away at the skull, picking him up, arm richer. Oh, pulling, trying to hyperextend the shoulder, hammering away on that shoulder some more. Morenzi injured his shoulder last December when he was in, involved in a car accident during a snowstorm here in New England. And uh, I don't know that it's ever been fully healed, and Lambo might know that as well, and he's taking full advantage of going to work on Morenzi's shoulder, and he just drove Morenzi down right on his shoulder. Good move there by JT Lambo, exploiting a previous injury and trying to re-aggravate it. Lambo now on top of Renzi, has that arm down. He's got him in a wrist lock on the ground. Renzi trying to get himself out. He's keeping that shoulder up to avoid being pinned. Red guy asking Morenci if he wants to give it in. Morenci saying no. Lambo, let's go out of frustration. Lambo now picks Morenci up, backing him into the rope, sends him off with an Irish whip. Morenci coming back. And Lambo tries for the spine buster. Morenci gets on and DDT's Lambo, spiking his head into the mat. Good counter there by Morenci going for the cover. And we only get two as Lambo manages the kick out. Standing vertical suplex by Morenci takes Lambo over, dropping him down on his spine. Now pulling him out to the center of the ring, lifting Lambo up to his feet. Morenci has him going for the fall away slam. And he does. Lambo goes out to the floor. On the fallaway slam, he hits hard. Red guy beginning the mandatory 10 count for Lambo, who's on the floor. Morency waiting on the apron. He's waiting to attack. Lambo's slow to get up. Morency looks like he's getting a little impatient here. Lambo now heading into the ring. Morenci going after Lambo, putting his head down on the apron. Oh, clubbing blows to the back. Three times there by Morenci. He's grabbing that steel chair from earlier tonight. This is a very sportsmanlike. Looks like he's thinking twice about it. And he throws the chair down. Morenci remains sportsmanlike. Morenci pulling Lambo out to the center of the ring. He's locking those legs in. He's going for the Indian death lock. He's got it locked on. Will Lambo give it in here? Lambo is locked in the Indian death lock. Morenci has put away many opponents with this hold. Morenci trying to turn it over, but Lambo stops him, shoves him off. Lambo had that one scouted. Kick to the stomach by Lambo. Going for the Irish whip. It's reversed by Morenci. Lambo comes back. Oh, Morenci dropped his head and he got caught. Morenci. Oh, 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 man. Lambo, what a combo there. Two single knees, one double knee, and then a face crusher. What a combination there by Lambo. Lambo's got him up on the shoulders. Morenci gets out. He's got Lambo. Got him up again, scoop slam, and I'm into the boiling point. This one should be all. We get a cover, we get two, we get three. And Major Morpheus Morenci, in a very hotly contested contest, walks away the winner over JT Lambo. Lambo gave Morenci one hell of a fight. I will give Lambo that credit. And to Morenci's credit, he stayed sportsmanlike the entire time. He did grab a steel chair, but he never used it. He gave second thought and he remained a sportsman at the request of Captain Vincent Zarello. So you got to applaud Morenzi on that one. He didn't break any rules. He fought a clean contest. 
So in this victory, Morenci can actually take pride, unlike some of his other victories, but he's got a microphone, so let's see what the system of rage has on his mind as he stands victorious. You, know what, you really impressed me tonight. So I have a question. Did you sign up for the Doomsday Championship ladder match? Not yet. Not yet? Well, see, my boy, Charles, Sergeant Charles Hatchet has signed up already. So, he needs some competition. What do you say? I say you got it! So now we have three signed up for the Doomsday Ladder Match. And we get another handshake once again. Lorenzi staying the sportsman the entire time. We've now got Sergeant Charles Hatchet. We've got Smokey. And we have JT Lambo all signed up for the Doomsday Ladder Match. Where the winner of that goes on to Lord of the Ring to challenge the WWE Championship. But speaking of the WWE Championship, our main event is coming up next. The six-man tag and elimination challenge featuring the WWE Hall of Fame battling over current champion Echo's WWE Championship up next.